Did, sir, do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly very much. And she was always of Indian heritage and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. So I don't know, is she Indian or is she black? She is always but identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a historically black college. I respect either one, but she obviously doesn't because she was Indian all the way and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that she is I think she somebody a- should look into that too when you ask a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, last night, I had a client in the car, and I'm going up north on 7585. And then on my other side, I see the blue lights. And I'm like, God dang it. Don't tell me she's here again. Kamala Harris. No. Yeah. She was in town and she was hosting the EBT Awards. What? Mm-hmm. She was holding a rally that I like to call F***s for Harris. I mean, excuse me. 304s for Harris. Yeah. So... Starring Megan D. Stallion. What we talking about over here, y'all? Hey, if you love your party, let me hear you make some noise. And if you want to keep loving your party, ladies, let me hear you make some noise. Hey, party crazy, curvy, wait. That's what they think of you guys, especially you black men. Oh, you need some booty, some twerking, and they got your votes. That's all they need to do. Now vote in, now touch. Uh-uh. Now vote in, now nothing. Now vote in, now vote in, now vote in, now vote yeah. Don't stop now. Stop my ballot box again. But my homegirl through. Put the buy in part of sin. Politics be so nasty. Make me want to flirt you. Show you how to be a poor worker. Uh, legs in the air. I don't care. Anyone could get it. Universal health care. If you want to come, come before the deadline. Come in the jacuzzi. Jerry Mander, this coochie. Now vote in, now love. <laughs> it's been tried over and over. A little booty, a little flesh, a couple, a couple of catchphrases, and then you're there. You're going to vote for her. Insulting. <laughs> but never mind all that. We're going to talk about Mr. Quavo. Quavo, I guess, was the MC, and he introduced Miss Harris to the stage as an African-American So it's only right in the birthplace of the culture. It's also the same place to launch the first African-American woman to run for president. Okay, Quavo, look, I know you're a rapper. I'm going to give you that, all right? You're not too bright. I get it. I get it. So, you know what? I'm going to have Judge Joe Brown explain it to you. Judge, Mr. Joe Brown, what don't you like about Kamala Harris? 
He's a piece of shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really? Please tell. She's always tried to do the casting couch to get where she wants. Now, the problem is, is that will get somebody to a certain level quickly. But you can't get past that level if you don't have competence and talent. So my thing about it is, is if I'm crude about it, in this city years ago, I used to represent a whole bunch of pimps and hoes, and I know a hoe when I see one. And I say this, I don't care, woman, you do what you want to do if you want to have recreational sex, but when you do the casting couch or anything else for professional purposes to get paid or advance, you a hoe. You know, Judge Joe Brown, Quavo thinks that she's an African-American. Can you correct him? And then she was everybody's favorite Hindu Indian prosecutor and attorney general and senator, and now she becomes black. But, you know, I met her daddy. A uh, fine gentleman, Professor Harris. And the problem with her being black is Professor Harris says he's Caucasian, mixed Irish and Hindu. He doesn't have any black ancestors, but his Irish ancestors owned a lot of slaves in Jamaica and had them to work on plantation. So if mama is on the birth certificate listed as a Caucasian, Daddy says he's a Caucasian, Caucasian Hindu and has no black ancestors. How did she get to be black? Uh, is there anything else you want to say about her? I was in California. She lacked professional competence and she worked on it by hiking up her hemline when she needed influence rather than researching. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> So there you go, Mr. Quavo. And there you go. You know what? Here's another thing about Quavo's statement that I don't, that I find kind of funny. All right. He wants to do gun control. He wants to take all the ARs off the streets. Right. Because his nephew suffered from gun violence from guess what? From his people. And one of these issues that I care about is 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 resolving the gun violence issue. And you can't understand the struggles of gun violence if you're not in the field or in the heart of it. So one thing I learned about working with Vice President Harris is she always stand on business. From inviting me, from inviting me, what's up, mama? Uh, from inviting me to the White House last year to discuss these solutions to passing, to passing the biggest gun safety laws today. And this is Quavo. Welcome to the Vigo, welcome to the, the mansion, from the Bando to the mansion. That's a sick chain you got. Yeah, this is a real good chain. Wow. How you doing, Phil? Oh, yeah. Is that an AR-15? Brand new out the box. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a lot of, uh, a lot of artillery here. Seems like you're a little gun enthusiast yourself there, Mr. Quavo, playing with the little AR-15, getting a little hard on there. Bunch of hypocrites. Anyway, Miss Harris was at the EBT Awards, and she was talking about securing the border. She says she's going to secure the border better than Donald Trump. Donald Trump, on the other hand has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks to it. Ms. Harris, you had four years. You was titled the border czar, but now all of a sudden, if you look through the internet, the title was so gone. There's no such thing. So you are attached to Joe Biden by the hips. Okay. So if 
he couldn't fix the border and you were the border czar, what makes you think if we give you the keys, you're going to fix the border? Have any plans to visit the border? I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. And so now she's calling Donald Trump out. She says that Donald Trump is scared to debate her. So the momentum in this race is shifting. And there are signs that Donald Trump is feeling it. You may have noticed. So last week, you may have seen, he pulled out of the debate in September he had previously agreed to. So, so, so here's the thing. Here, here's the funny thing about that. Here's the funny thing about that. So he won't debate. But he and his running mate sure seem to have a lot to say about me. And by the way, don't you find some of their stuff to just be plain weird? Well, Donald, I do hope you'll reconsider to meet me on the debate stage. Because as the saying goes, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. Donald Trump could do four hours at a rally. Four hours. Miss Harris here did 23 minutes. I think the 304, Megan the Stallion, did 20 minutes on stage dancing, performing, and twerking. She did 20. Miss Harris did 23 minutes. You telling me that you have enough ammo to take down Donald Trump? Donald Trump could go four hours straight. You have 23 minutes. This has got to be the most embarrassing thing out here. But again, she's entertaining the lower common factor. She even have her Southern draw. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yep, and they go to the seals, barking and clapping for her. Yeah. She's just like y'all. Bunch of fakes and phonies. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Tear on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>